Hey guys, welcome back. So I got a review slash first impression slash tutorial on the Coastal Scents Revealed Matte Palette. So I do like I normally do in these type videos. We will talk about the pricing. We'll look at the packaging. We'll look at some swatches. I will show you a tutorial on this eye look, let you know my thoughts on the formula and just overall what do I think about this palette? So let's get into it. So the price of this palette is $19.95. I did receive this as PR from the company, but you can purchase it from the Coastal Scents website. So $19.95, great price on this palette. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. Really similar to the other revealed palettes. It's that um, kind of sturdy feeling cardboard packaging. So not the nicest packaging, but very functional. And I don't mind that because it cuts down on the price as long as it's cute looking and functional. I'm happy with it. So really cute packaging on it. I like the um, coloring. It's very kind of like deserty looking, like with a camel-y sort of color. So pretty design. You open it up, there is no mirror in here. So that's something to know about these palettes. They don't have mirrors, but a pretty design up there and you get a lot of shadows in this palette. You get 20 eyeshadows and they're all matte. You know, when I first looked at this palette and started playing with it, I really thought, oh, it's so warm toned, which I like warm toned, but I'm kind of feeling some cool tones lately. I'm not wearing cool tones today in my outfit or on my eyes, so I don't know why I did this, but just in life and playing with my makeup, I've been loving some cool tones lately. But then I started really looking at it and there are cool tones in here too. There's warm on this side, but then there's a lot of cool happening over here too with these purples and taupes. So you absolutely have a great mix of warm and cool in this palette. So I don't know how I didn't like notice that at first. I mean, it's not like the colors changed, but suddenly I looked at it with like a fresh set of eyes and I'm like, this is really nice. So I love the collection of colors that they did. I think they did a great job of mixing warm with cool. Now for some swatches. So this is the top row of the palette, the first 10 shades. So you can see these over here, quite a few of those are pretty close to my skin tone color, so they don't show up a ton. Um, but these other ones, like the really light ones, and then the ones that are getting a little bit darker than my skin tone, you can really see them. So really beautiful. I really don't have any complaints about these whatsoever. I think they're really pretty, really easy to work with. Of course, the closer that you get to your skin tone color, you may have to build them up a little bit more. Um, but like that one was like super pigmented right off. And it's not like they're not pigmented. It's just one of those things, it doesn't matter what brand it is. If it's close to your skin tone color, the shade itself, you're gonna have to build it up a little bit. So that was kind of the case with some of these over here. But there is the top row. And then here is the bottom row of the palette, the other 10 shades. So you're getting into some really beautiful deeper tones here, a nice collection of warm and cool tones. Um, really the only one that I kind of like experience a little bit of issue with, and it really isn't an issue, is the black. It just has a little bit more of a gritty texture, but it's pigmented and it blends out nicely. So it's really just, it feels a little bit weird. Like the texture feels a little bit weird, but it's functional. So I'm not mad at it, but that's just a little FYI. So here are the shadows in the bottom row. Now let's talk about the formula on these shadows. So you'll see them in action, kind of like how they perform in the tutorial, but I'm really impressed with the formula on these. When I'm swatching them, they seem a little bit powdery, but when I use them on my eyes, I had like hardly any, if any, fallout. So I find them to be really nice and easy to use on the eyes. They're pigmented. I'm just impressed with the formula. I really don't have any complaints. I will annotate down below how they wore throughout the day, um, but formula, just working with them, blendability, pigmentation, all that, I really, really like it. I have no complaints. So really nice formula on these. Something I definitely wanna note is how similar these two palettes are. This is the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette, which I really, really love this palette. This is very similar, but you get a lot more shadows in this one. I wouldn't call it a dupe because there's not the exact same shades in there. Um, there are kind of like some missing ones, but then you get more in the revealed palette. I'm trying to get it where I can actually like show you side by side. Um, there's just quite a few that overlap or get really close. Like, let me try to show you here. So this one right here is very close to this one. And let's see, this one right here is very close to this one which doesn't look like it would be, but apparently that's what I found. I tried to do research the other night, so tried to make some notes for you. 
This one right here is very close to this one. Um, 11, see, I made my little, my little note, it says CS11 for this one. So that would mean Coastal Sense 11. So anyway, it gets into more, like obviously you can see those are really close. These two here are pretty close to these. That's close to that. That's actually close to that. They're not exact dead on dupes because I'm really picky about saying the word dupe. Um, but some of them were pretty much dead on. But a few of them were just close, like really close. So what I'm saying is I think if you've really wanted this palette, I think you can get almost the exact same looks with this palette. So basically half the price, less than half the price, you're getting more shadows in here, not as nice of packaging, but I'm just super impressed with how close they are. And honestly, I don't know. I might like the formula of this better than this. I at least like it as well as but maybe even a little bit more. So that's exciting to find that they are super, super similar. So overall thoughts on this palette, I'm loving it. I love the Revealed 2 palette. I love the Revealed Smoky. This one's now another one of my loves from the Revealed collection. I just think it's such nice quality. Again, it's so close to that other palette. It's just really good. So I'm super duper impressed with it. So that's my overall review. So now if you wanna see how I got this eye look, just stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, so I've already applied some eye primer. So now I'm gonna take my palette and we're just gonna play. So I'm gonna get some of this one right here. I don't really even know what I'm gonna do, but I'm just gonna play with the palette and see what look ends up happening. That seemed to blend very nicely, so that's good. So I'm going to take this one right here, this kind of pinky shade, and I'm going to put that into my crease too, just to kind of add like a little bit of coolness. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I just want to play with different colors from the palette, cool and warm colors, just playing. Now I'm going to take some of this color right here, and I'm going to apply that into my outer corner. I kind of carry that into my crease a little bit. These are blending really well and I'm looking and I really don't see like any fallout. If there is any, I'm really not seeing very much at all. So that's impressive. I'm gonna get some of this third color right here as my brow bone highlight. It seems pretty pigmented so I'm trying to use just like the tiniest little bit and then kind of build it up. Now is the time when I'm doing an all matte eye look that I'm like, oh, I would always do shimmer at this point, but I'm gonna do an all matte eye look. So I'm gonna get some of this color right here, this second one, just on my finger and, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm gonna apply that um, just right on the inner part of my lid. Now I got my Real Techniques detailer brush to just kind of like help blend it. Now I'm gonna apply some eyeliner. Mostly I'm gonna use this. This is the Laura Geller Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner in Cafe Mocha. So I'm gonna line my upper lash line and just a little bit on my lower lash line with this. And then I'm gonna use just a little bit of black just right on the outer corners. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Never Fail Eyeliner in Noir. Then on my lower lash line, I'm gonna get some of this one right here and just apply that over that liner and then a little bit under it too. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some mascara. For my upper lashes, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Total Tees. And for my lower lashes, I'm gonna use the Pixie Lower Lash Mascara. Right, guys so that wraps up this video so i hope that you really enjoyed it and i hope it was helpful for you please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below if you've tried this palette what do you think about it i would love to know your thoughts and impressions ask me any questions that you have i'm happy to answer those please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you in my next video bye